Welcome back to another sushi video tutorial. I'm Chef Devo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make something spectacular, something impossible, something revolutionary, something innovative. It's possibly the future of sushi, although it might not be. Who knows? But what's certain is over the last hundred years, sushi has evolved so much from something that took six months to make by fermenting rice and fish together to something which is made instantly in sushi bars across the country. So this could be the future. Basically, I use a sous vide machine to cook the fish to an exact temperature, 40 degrees Celsius. And then what happens is the fat dislocates the fish and you create these sashimi sized fish flakes, which are juicy and tender and perfectly cooked, unlike anything you'll ever be able to achieve in a pan or a pot. And they're just magnificent. It's a completely new way to look at sushi. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Let's get straight into making it. Let's go. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to get a nice piece of salmon with the grain going right across. And you don't want a curbing of the grain, so I've cut it specifically to be like so. Now, you just want to make the brine, which is simply 500 milliliters of water, and then 6% salt, and 4% sugar. Now you just want to let this dissolve inside and then add your fish. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since I've brined the fish and I've just pat it dry. And what's happened is the brine has seasoned the fish perfectly and it's changed structure so the albumin doesn't leach out. The albumin is the white stuff that usually coats the outside of salmon when you cook it. And this way it'll stay nice and orangey when you cook it. Now I'm just gonna stick it inside this sous vide bag and then I'm just going to add 40 grams of extra virgin olive oil. Perfect. All right, so this part's very easy. You just put it inside your vacuum sealer, make sure it's aligned properly, close it and seal it. Perfect, that easy. All right, and it doesn't matter if there's a little air pocket with oil because you just want to basically poach it inside oil. That's the plan here. Okay, so I've got the sous vide machine at 41 degrees Celsius. I'm just gonna add the salmon in. Okay, so you wanna cook the salmon to about 40 degrees Celsius. And I put the sous vide machine at 41 degrees Celsius to make it go a bit faster. And you wanna leave it in there for about 25 minutes to 27 minutes. 27 minutes if it's a pretty thick piece of salmon, 25 if it's not. Okay, so after 27 minutes, you pull your salmon out and then you just let it rest for one or two minutes. Okay, so once it's cooked, what I'm gonna do here is just take a butter knife and get right in between the layers of fat and separate it. Like so, this piece is a little bit small. And just like so, they come off pretty easy and it's almost like sashimi slices, but not quite because it's not the way you cut sashimi. Okay, so you just Put your knife in between the fat layer and it just comes apart and just help it slightly with your hand and this is so soft it's just incredible okay so you place your knife in between the fat layer and it should just slide in and it just comes off the fish like so it's extremely soft because what's happened during the soft cooking is the fat has sort of melted and the tender, tender fish is just so soft and juicy that it just falls apart. All right, so now that I've got everything prepared, I've got some avocado slices and my salmon flakes in pieces, which look a bit like sashimi. I'm just gonna add a little bit of soy wasabi air, which you can check out how to make by clicking on the link on the top left corner, to a plate. Beautiful. Then you just pull it out. All right, so now you just add some sliced avocado. Make sure to spread them out nicely. Perfect. And now you add your salmon. And just finish it off by adding a couple little herbs or something to decorate. In this case, I'm using some mint. And you can maybe just make your air 
come towards the mid so it can be fixed in place. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to make this delicately cooked salmon sashimi. And if you want to make it without the sushi machine, it's possible, but it will take a lot of effort. You have to sit there and turn the gas on and off and watch it with a thermometer for 27 minutes, which would be hell. So I would suggest just making the investment. It's the same as any other cooking machine in your kitchen. It's, it costs money. So if you want to buy it, you can do so right now by clicking on the left. Anyway, I guess that's everything. And I guess there's nothing left to do but to try it. Look at that delicate fish. Dip it inside the soya sauce and then you're here. It's got such juicy, delicate flavors of fish and the texture is just, it's somewhere in between cooked and raw. It's remarkable. I really suggest you guys try this at home. It's amazing. All right, that's all. And now I'll just show you a little clip about uh, my new kitchen, which is being built. All right, so this is gonna be my new kitchen. Now, it's still under construction, as you can see. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It's been taking so long to build this. I had to lay down a concrete floor with tiles, 2.4 tons of concrete to be exact. That was painful work. And I figured out how to do it all by just watching some YouTube videos and getting on with it which is what YouTube's all about, isn't it? Okay, right, so once this uh, kitchen is finished, in about one to two months, it's gonna be dedicated to making only YouTube videos and making better sushi video recipes. Now that's the sort of dedication I have to making better videos. If you guys wanna show me your support to what I do, then feel free to share this video and many of my other videos on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatever your social media poison is. And if you want to show your appreciation even more, then you can do so right now by clicking on the bottom right on patreon.com. And that's basically everything. If you want to see more of my videos every single week, then subscribe to my channel on the top left corner. It's completely free and you'll be updated whenever new videos are released. And if you want to see new videos this second, because you're that excited, then click on the left right now and you can see all my other videos. Thank you for watching. Till next week. Goodbye.